With the addition of new guidelines for fully vaccinated travelers, it is time to update the Manila Arrival Guide for overseas Filipino workers, returning overseas Filipinos, and foreign nationals who are arriving in Ninoy Aquino International Airport coming from abroad. This video will explain the testing and quarantine procedures for Manila arrivals as of July 2021. Please stay tuned and watch the video to know the details. Welcome to Denzi TV. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you receive updates as they are posted. This arrival guide is for the following travelers, overseas Filipino workers, returning overseas Filipinos, spouse and children of Filipinos, diplomats, foreign officials accredited by the Philippines, and eligible non-Filipino or foreign citizens. If you want to see the complete list of eligible foreign nationals, check out the video card at the top right corner of this video. General Guidelines In compliance with Philippine government regulations, travelers arriving in the Philippines shall undergo 14 days of quarantine, 10 of which shall be observed at a hotel or facility, and the remaining four to be completed at home under the monitoring of the respective local government units. Travelers who are fully vaccinated against COVID-19 in the Philippines or in a green country will undergo 7 days quarantine. Check out the card at the top right corner of this video to get the list of green countries. Let us discuss the pre-flight procedures for non-OFWs and foreign nationals. As early as 3 days prior to your departure, register and accomplish the electronic case investigation form and save the confirmation email and QR code. Download, print, and accomplish the affidavit of undertaking. All the links are provided in the video description below. For OFWs, register and accomplish the electronic case investigation form and save the confirmation email and QR code at balikpinas.ph. For land-based OFWs, create or update your account on the OFW Assistance Information System at oasis.oa.gov.ph. Upon check-in, sign the declaration and waiver form presented by the check-in agent indicating that you are healthy and fit to travel. During your flight, accomplish the following forms, Health Declaration Form, Bureau of Customs Form, and your Arrival Card. Now let us discuss the arrival procedures for returning overseas Filipinos and foreign nationals. Upon arrival, listen to the briefing conducted by the Philippine Coast Guard. Next, undergo a temperature check, submit the health declaration form upon deplaning. Next, proceed to the designated waiting area. Fill out the affidavit of undertaking or AOU and proceed to the hotel desk and have your AOU stamped Make hotel reservations and arrange for your hotel transfer. Then proceed to the verification booth, present your passport and QR code. Then pay for your RT-PCR test worth 4,000 pesos. Next, clear with immigration and submit the arrival card. Then claim your baggage at the carousel and clear with customs check, submit the Bureau of Customs form. Then submit the AOU before exiting the terminal and proceed to your booked hotel. Arrival Procedures for OFWs Upon arrival, listen to the briefing conducted by the Philippine Coast Guard, undergo a temperature check, submit the health declaration form upon deplaning. Next, proceed to the waiting area and fill out the project care slip. Then, for sea-based OFWs, wait for your turn to proceed to the verification booth and present your QR code. Then, clear with immigration and submit the arrival card. For land-based OFWs and dependents, proceed to the OWA desk and present the same QR code you have from your ECIF and submit the OWA project care slip. For sea-based OFWs and dependents, proceed to the marina desk. Then claim your baggage and clear read customs check. Exit the terminal and wait for your shuttle or bus that will take you to your assigned hotel. At the quarantine hotel, check in at your hotel and wait for the schedule of your test on day 7 
for fully vax travelers, you get tested on day 5. For non-OFWs, on the day of your test, please present passport, QR code, and payment receipt. For non-OFWs, your accommodation and food during your stay, including your fees due to required extensions, will be at your own expense. For OFWs, your accommodation and food during your stay will be shouldered by the Philippine government. If you test positive, the Bureau of Quarantine shall transfer you to a hospital for further medical management. For non-OFWs, if you test negative, you can get your Bureau of Quarantine medical certificate via the DOH BOQ certificate page, and you have to email, using this address, the following details, your name, address, current hotel, etc., including the screenshot or file of your official test result. For OFWs, if you test negative, your test result and quarantine certificate will be released on day 9 of your quarantine stay. After your test, present your negative test result together with the Bureau of Quarantine Medical Quarantine Certificate for clearance. You are allowed to check out only on the 10th day even if your test results and certificates are released at an earlier time. Once cleared, you can call your relatives and LGU to pick you up or arrange for your transportation going home. Please complete your four-day quarantine or self-isolation under the monitoring of your LGU. For those who qualified for a shorter quarantine of seven days, your checkout is on the seventh day and no more home quarantine. And that is your Manila Arrival Guide as of July 2021 for OFWs, returning overseas Filipinos, and foreign nationals. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like the content of this channel, please remember to subscribe. And don't forget to check out all the other videos.